this is Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team, and I wanted to share a tutorial using this Brenda Walton Shadow Box die. It's a big XL die, so you'll need two extended cutting pads before you cut the die. And we're going to do this configuration without the curtains. So I have my die cut already. This is just cut from pattern paper. It's Salon Fawn's Peace Love Joy. We'll use this little fancy rectangular, rectangular piece and then the banner. Then you'll also need a piece of white cardstock for stamping. Also be using this Lawn Fawn stamp set. It's got a little Yeti on it. The Lawn Ornament Snowflake Sequins and their new Sparkle Twine. This is hemp twine. as well as some May Arts ribbon, an assortment of matching buttons, memento ink, some Copic markers, and our adhesives. I have Dodds 3D Small, 3D Foam Squares, and these really handy ad adhesive sheets from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. Key to making this project a success, I think, is in the adhesive. This is Crafty Power Tape, and I'll be using it to put together the shadow box itself, and it's very strong and easy to cut. So here's the die all cut out, and I'm going to have this Peace, Joy, Love paper show from the inside, and the white, the red and white stripes will be the outside. And before we assemble it, I just want to punch some holes so that we can add a piece of ribbon at the top and a little button ornament at the bottom. So now we can go ahead and assemble it, and. The die comes with these really easy to follow instructions. So I'm just going to follow the instructions. So this is the stage that you want to embellish and decorate the inside. the pieces of the scene that I'm creating. I'm creating like a snowy hill. These will be glittered and then my little Yeti will sit right here and there'll be a tree. So I just stamped them in memento ink and then colored them with Copic markers and added some glitter accents with Copic Spica markers. So you can see they just have a little bit more sparkle. And I also stamped the banner I curved the sentiment to fit on the banner die cut. So the first thing I want to do is add glitter to my hills. And this is very, very easy. These are the adhesive sheets by scrapbookadhesives.com. Looks like we'll use two adhesive sheets. I have my glitter that I'm going to use and a scrap sheet of paper. So your hill should be completely covered. And this one, I missed that little side. So if you end up missing little patches, you just find a new sh spot on the sheet, put it back down, burnish it more. And there you go. I'm also going to do the same thing to this decorative backer. So now we can go ahead and adhere our elements. And I have my snowy hills, my Yeti, the little tree. I'm also going to use these lawn ornament snowflake sequins. Just 
going to adhere everything with some 3D foam squares and some dots. And if you want to take your design just a little step further, you can take some leftover plastic from a case or packaging that you might have thrown away, or you can use a transparency. You can make this into like a shaker ornament. So all I'm going to do is add adhesive um, to the edges and adhere it right down here. And there you go. Again, this was Tiffany from the Sizzix Design Team here to show you a fun ornament tutorial using Brenda Walton's Shadow Box Biggs XL die. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.